Some of you have been aching for this for a while because you like this form, slope intercept form, here it is, y yeah. equals mx plus b. What's m again? Slope. 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 And I drew an arrow, what's this? The y intercept, right? That's why it's called the slope intercept. It's got both those in there. Okay. What's that? We're on 2 4 now. This next one is called point slope formula. Point slope formula. Your book might be a little. They might go a little weird on this. Um, because sometimes, and I know in Algebra 1 they did this, and I really found it annoying. They'll ask you to write your equation in point-slope form, but I don't want you to ever think of this as a form. It's a formula. The difference being this. A form is where you finish. You either finish in standard form, like we sort of have been, or you finish, we have a new form, slope-intercept form. A formula is something you use to get somewhere else. You don't stop there. And so I don't want you to ever have your answer to stop and, and look like this when you stop. I want you, you to stop when it looks like this, okay? Even if the book doesn't tell you to, I still want you to go to a form. Don't stop here. Uh, I don't think it does ask you, ask you that in this class, but I know in previous years it has. And what is this part of the all about? Slope. slope. Find the slope, okay? So the slope intercept, the point slope, and the slope. Yep. They all have to do a slope, right? Okay. So, <coughs> let's me do a problem. Uh, okay. I'm going to do... Is the y2 one spot one? Is that the same thing as point slope? No, no, that's different. This is slope, just finding the slope. <laughs> okay. Is point slope the same thing? Point slope is to find the equation of a line. This is just to find the slope. Okay, now. Let me read this problem, then I'm going to write it up. Let's see if you can, how much of it, how much of the words you can remember. Because I'm going to ask you for two things. Let's see if you can write an equation in slope intercept form, that top one. For the line that has a slope of negative 3 halves and passes through negative 4, 1. So what's the slope of this thing? Negative 3 halves. And where does it go through? Say it louder, Manny. Negative 4, 1. Negative 4, 1. What's this called? Slope. What's this called? Point. Point slope. Point slope. All right, let's use it. In point slope. You need a point. The point in point slope is this x1, y1. Okay? And what's the slope? The, what's the slope in the formula? M. M. Okay. Now. Now. I often get this question. Well, what do we put in for these two? You leave Those are what's in slope. You leave them alone. Because your equation's going to have those two variables in it. They're variables. They're very good. You drop your cap. Okay. I drop my cap. Mm -hmm. well, it's right there. Hopefully I don't step on it and bust a cap. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why? Oh, I guess just get that. Y minus. What is Y? What's the Y coordinate? One. You guys focus up here? Y minus, what's the y coordinate? One, <laughs> one equals negative three, negative three halves. Negative three halves. I ask only, please, it would be very helpful if you only respond when I ask the question, not before I ask the question. Okay. And you don't need to tell other people, like, yeah, stop being smart. Yeah, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Do you want us to put parentheses like you wanted us to do? The formula has parentheses. No, I mean like when we add a number for a letter or whatever. Oh, you'll see. Say. Uh, this one, because it's just subtraction, it's not multiple. X minus. What's x1? Negative 4. What happens when I go minus negative 4? Plus. Plus 4. So there we go, I have it in the point Ooh. slope formula. I need to simplify this thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute this. 
So what's negative 3 halves times x? Negative 3 halves times x. Yeah, so x. Minus, uh, y minus 1, that's still over there. Negative 3 halves x. All right, so let's do this. This is negative 3 halves times, I don't write it as a fraction, just some of you like this better. 4 over 1, what, what reduces here? 2 and 4. 2 and 4. 2 and 4. So 4 and 2, what, what do I put? 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Okay, a 1 and a 2, right? All right, so the bottom is just 1. Negative 3 times 2 is? Negative 6. Negative 6 over 1 is still? Negative 6. Negative 6. So this is minus 6. We're almost done. In order to have it in slope intercept form, the y needs to be all alone. So what do I need to do? Add one. Add one. Okay, and I get y equals negative 3 halves x minus 5. This is in slope intercept form. Now, you should be able to identify fairly quickly. What's the slope of this thing? 6. Negative three and that should be the same as what I started with, right? Yeah. Better be. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you were doing it off the top of it. No. Well, it's still the same. Jeez. <laughs> B, what's the y intercept? Negative five. Y intercept? Negative five. Y intercept? Negative Some of you guys are maybe not as well. What's the y intercept? Negative five. Thank you. Yeah. Get fired up. The question said, write it in slope intercept form. Said, write it in slope intercept form. So here we go. It's in slope intercept form right now. What, and we just said these are, this is the slope, that's the y intercept. So we have another way, we have another way of graphing now. We can use this, if it's in this form, we can graph it without needing to make a chart of points like we, we've done before. What's the y intercept? Everyone, negative what's y intercept? Negative five. Negative five. So we're gonna go down to negative five, right here. Right there? What is the slope? Down to negative three over two. Negative three over two. So I gotta decide what's what's the run, what's the rise. What do you want for the three. So, you want three for the run? A uh, rise? So what does the run have to be? Negative, negative two. two. Right? Because it has to be this divided by this would be negative, right? Okay, so what does this say? Up three. Up three, and what does this say? Left run. two. Left two. Okay, so I'm gonna start here, because that's my intercept. I'm gonna go up three. Left two, draw a dot, and then bam. That's a straight line. Pretty straight. There's my graph. Okay.